Hello! Welcome back to the Gas Trap video, part two. Part two! So for those of you that saw the first one, uh, we sat on Excel spreadsheet and made spreadsheet talk. We'll do some of that, but we're gonna do some graphics this time. So, um, since it's school time, we got chalkboard. Chalkboard. Uh, let's just recap just really brief what we learned um, from part one. If you didn't see part one, um, here's basically what we learned. We learned that um, the, crit, the base crit chance of a gas trap is 5%. The base crit, crit damage bonus is 50%. Um, the standard reload on a gas trap is 8 seconds. Um, gas traps are actually active for around 5 seconds, um, even when the gas is no longer visible. If you don't believe me, go check out part 1. We we physically show it with the timer on screen, and we walk husks into the... the, the, the Area the cloud used to be after it's visually gone and it would still get afflicted, um, which totally blew my mind. I thought it was about a four and a half second reload or active time. Um, so if it's active for five seconds, then that means that the trap is has a downtime of three seconds because uh, it takes eight seconds to reload. The reload does trigger once the trap starts, not when it finishes. So the moment it gets triggered, the eight second cooldown starts. It's active for five seconds, leaving three seconds left of downtime. If you use a reload perk. Um, it'll change your reload time to around 5.6 seconds, thus giving you about half a second, 0.6 seconds of downtime. So, uh, right there, one reload perk seems amazing. Okay. We also know that gas afflicts for six ticks of damage. Uh, the duration perk on your sixth slot will increase it to seven ticks of damage. Um, it adds one tick. The affliction ticks every second. Each tick has its own chance to crit, and uh, gas affliction can stack, meaning you can actually now put, uh, you have been for a long time, you can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gas traps in a line if you want. Uh, early adapters to the game still did that, but they were wasting the, the gas traps after the first one because it did not stack. So, uh, also, gas can now trigger on slopes. I don't know when that occurred, um, but a lot of us old timers were kind of uh, like, what, when we showed that off in part one? Um, it doesn't seem very consistent. Um, it'll trigger. Sometimes it doesn't trigger. It'll afflict. Sometimes it doesn't afflict. It depends on where the husk is when it triggers. But if you have a line of husks, you're going to afflict some of them. You're going to trigger it. You're going to afflict some. But um, tire traps, baby. Tire traps. Now, let's look at... Um, this is my calculator. Personal calculator. But regardless, um, the idea behind this video was A, obviously, so we could figure out all the cool nifty little things about gas traps. But um, primarily, there's been a lot of talk in my chat um, and in my comment section regarding gas traps. Um, I have always been using damage, crit rate, crit damage, and reload. Uh, since the perk recombobulator came out, everything in the game has become OP. You could use any gun, any trap, and if you legendary every perk, man, it's like... You can't go wrong, okay? So the idea of back in the day where um, everything you got was RNG out of the llamas and you, you if, if you were the luckiest person on the planet, you might have gotten a couple legendary perks, okay? So it, you can never level your perks up. So there was a lot of, uh, uh, a lot, every stream it was, is this a god roll? Is this a god roll? Is this a god roll? Because it, there, there was, there was god rolls. Now it's irrelevant because the perk recombobulator allows everything to get so damn powerful. Um... So my thought process without running any numbers was like, well, let's just do one of everything. You can't go wrong with one crit rate, one crit damage, one damage and a reload. Reload means more uptime, right? So that's what I was running. Um, but everybody in chat, everybody I've talked to, um, according to some people on Reddit, it's not the meta. But when I hear a hundred times over that quad damage is what everybody I talk to says, then I'm going to call it the meta. If that's what the sheep are doing... <laughs> um, that's, that's what we're comparing, because if that's what everybody wants to talk about, that's what everybody asks me, is, isn't quad damage better? That's all I ever hear. Once in a blue moon, I hear of somebody running something else. But, um, so, that's where the two come from, is where uh, I've been hearing time and time and time and time again that quad damage is what everybody's running. So, um, that's what we're going to compare. And then, when we get done comparing the two, we'll actually pull up a chart and we'll see what other combinations of perks do what. Um, so, 
Without further ado, let's go ahead and drill these out. What we're really looking at is over here on this side, this is my trap, and here is the meta trap, right? Meta trap running four damage perks. I run damage, crit rate, crit damage, and reload. We need to figure out what the damage is going to be, the crit chance, and the crit damage of both setups before we can move forward. Here is a a section of uh, option, like the perks you can get on each item. Um, ignore all this stuff. This is just the calculators that I'm going to be using to get the, the numbers out of it. Um, but since it's got physical damage, you got to plug 44. This is presuming we're looking at traps that have fully maxed out legendary perks, right? So we're going to put the 44 physical damage in there. And then um, I run damage. And then I run a crit damage. 130. I run a crit rate. And then I run a reload, so I don't run another damage or a crit damage. So then my new damage is going to be coming out at 174. My crit chance is now at 33%. And my crit damage is at 495.9. Now if we... Uh, we get rid of all of these. We're going to leave physical in because that's across the board with all gas traps. They're all physical. The meta trap uses four damage perks. It's, it's damage after all of that included is going to be 264. And then its crit chance is going to be 5% because that's the base. It doesn't have any increase. And the new crit damage after the quad damage is 396. Got it? Got it. So now that we've figured out the damage, the crit chance, and the crit damage, here's a very simple way for simple people like myself to look at your, your numbers and figure out what they're doing, how they're going to work, what the performance is going to look like without overcomplicating it with lots of equations and stuff, which we'll, we might do that here in a second. But this is, this is legit, right? So your gas trap is going to do six ticks of damage or seven, but we're for... for comparison purposes, we're not doing extended duration. We're just going to do the standard six ticks. Now, we know that it does 174 damage per tick, right? So 174, 174, 174, and so forth. And then you're done, okay? Six ticks of 174, which is the damage, okay? The quad damage is going to do 264 six times as well. Well, you know, we're not factoring in crit chance at this point, okay? So... Um, my trap has a 33% chance to crit. That's a third. It's a third. That's literally a third. A third in percentages is 33.33333333. Okay. So it's a third. A third of the time it's going to crit. So you could look at it like, hey, it's going to hit for 174. It's going to hit for 174. This is the third tick. This one should theoretically crit so we'll go ahead and plug in the 495.9 crit damage as of right here and then we're going to go back in one two three it's going to crit if i could type follow me okay so we have six ticks a third of six ticks is two ticks if it was just three ticks a third of that is one tick right so um hopefully that part of math isn't too complicated because that's simple simple stuff um, over here on the meta trap, uh, you've got 5%. Ultimately, in six ticks, you're not going to crit, okay? So, um, you're just not. You're, you're, it's unlikely that you're going to crit. You probably will, but unlikely, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get the totals in here. I had my bars on top of the screen, I could just click auto sum, but we're not going to do that. We're going to wait for me to type it out. I could have made a graphic. I already made some graphics. We're good. We're good. So, the uh, the total damage for my trap, in theory, is actually doing more damage. So, let's say, for instance, if a smasher walks through your gas trap, it's going to get afflicted. He's, in theory, going to walk out with 1687 damage for my trap, and he's only going to walk out with 1584 from the meta trap. Now let's pretend, let's pretend you do get one crit, okay? 
that it would in that scenario if you did were lucky enough for that five percent crit chance to go off uh you would do more damage but again look see it's a barely they're barely they're so similar it's it's funny now um in regards to little husks they're probably gonna die the children are gonna die the skinnies are gonna die fatties might may or may not die depending on your tech level your level and what level you're playing at okay um, long before the sixth tick but for like a smasher purposes, this is where these total numbers are relevant. Otherwise, you might have a skinny and a, and a child to die here. A fatty might die at tick five, tick four. Um, also, these these numbers are theoretical, okay? You could technically crit, crit, and then not crit. You could also, I've seen things go crit, 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 okay? I've also seen lots of crits on 5% on crit. But this is an easy way for you to look down, sit down, write out your numbers, and look to see what your trap is going to do. All right, one last thing. I'm going to touch on, probably won't do this every video. Um, I might make a separate video. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, we need to figure out the average number, okay? There's different ways to figure out the average, but then it gets a little tricky because you have to incorporate um, crit chance and crit damage. It's easy to find the average number if you have got a range, right? So um, there's two different ways to do it. The simplest slash complicated way for the non-number people um, is as follows. Uh, then I'll show you the easy way to, to back it up to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So, let's pretend that you have something that causes 100 damage per tick. Uh, and it's got a 50% crit damage bonus, and it's got a 50% crit chance, okay? So what this means, um, let's just make it really simple, is uh, a 50% crit damage bonus is going to be 150 damage when you crit. Your normal damage is 100. You're going to crit 50% of the time, meaning half of the time. Okay, so you're going to, in theory, shoot normal damage, crit normal damage, crit, okay, every other 50% of the time, in theory. Now, the, the technical way to figure this out is you multiply your base damage by your crit damage, so by 0.5. So damage multiplied by 0.5, which is your crit damage, you get your crit damage bonus of 50. Okay, that's what your crit damage bonus is. So you add that plus 50 to your basic damage to be equal to 150. Boom, crit damage 150. Now you take your bonus of 50 and you multiply it by your crit chance, which in this case is 50%, 0. 0.5. Your new bonus is now 25. Then you add that to your base damage and your average damage with this crit damage and crit chance is 125. Remember? Because you're at 100, 150. Average of that, you split it, is 125. Still doesn't make any sense. Let me break it down even further. If you hit for 100 and then you crit for 150 and you hit for 100 and you crit for 150 because your crit chance is every other, it's 50% of the time, half and half. Um, the typical average is summed up so you sum the total which is 500 in this scenario and you divide it by the amount of numbers in the in the in the example so there's four four shots here and so the average is 125. Okay. so going back it's uh regular damage multiplied by your crit damage and then you take that bonus your crit damage bonus and then you multiply that by your crit chance and then you add it back to your regular damage. That is your average damage per per tick, okay, or per shot if you're using a gun. It's the same across the board. So that's how you figure out your 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 average, okay. All right. So here we've got a table where I've taken every perk combination you can apply to the gas trap, okay. I have uh, columns. I have damage, so straight damage. I have crit damage. I have the crit chances. I've got the average damage that we just went over that includes your crit damage and crit chance. It's a theoretical number. doesn't mean anything. You'll never hit a damage tick of 271, but it's a theoretical number for you to judge on how you want it to work. The other way you can look at it was how we first did it where I was like, if you've got a 33% chance, you're going to get two of your six ticks that are going to crit. That's another really effective way to look at your traps and evaluate what, what perks you want. Okay. So in that case, anything that has a 33%, you're guaranteed at least two crit damage ticks. Um, if you're at a 46 with, if you do two crit rates and you get a 46 crit chance, that's super close to 50%. You're pretty much likely going to get three ticks of crit out of your six ticks. Okay. So that's, that's another way you could look at it. Um, and then I also have the downtime. 
So if we want, uh, right now it's filtered by damage. So obviously if you have four damages on here, uh, it's going to be 264. And then anything that has triple damage is going to be second place, third place, fourth place. I mean, these are, these are here. These guys are all 204. They have double damage perks. And then everybody that has one damage is doing 174. And then the other three that do not have a single damage perk are doing 144. Uh, if we flip it and you want to see what gives the hardest um, crit damages, you're more than, I mean, obviously you're more than welcome. You can do whatever you want. Pause the video because you can sort through this, this list when it's paused. So now I've got it filtered by crit damage, okay? So now we're looking at the crit damages. And the hardest hitting crit damage is going to be your double damage and double crit damage build. Second hardest is going to be damage crit rating and crit damage. And that's going to have a uh, 33%. So... Yeah, you're going to see this number more frequently than you are on this build right here. Third place, triple damage, crit damage. And then fourth place is your crit rating, crit rating, crit damage, crit damage, which I have a lot of friends that like that build set up as well. Then if you want to look at crit chance, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you don't have a crit rating perk on yours, you're going to be down at 5%. If you have one crit rating perk on yours, you're going to be up at 33%. If you have double crit rating, you're going to be up at the 46% crit chance downtime is the same thing if you do not have a reload perk you're going to be sitting at around three seconds on average per the video in part one go check it out it shows it um and then if you've got one reload you're going to be down to around half a second 0.6 seconds um and then if you have double reloads you're going to have 100 percent uptime but again who needs 100% uptime we'll go over that in a second with when i when i cover why i'm not putting dps into here and then lastly the fun number, the theoretical number, uh, damage. So per damage, if you're factoring in your crit damage and crit chance, um, the damage, crit rating, crit damage, crit damage build is going to give you the highest theoretical damage. And that's when it's factoring in your crit chance, your crit damage, and your damage like we just showed on the blackboard. Um, and then you've got your, your crit rate, crit rate, crit damage, crit damage. Then damage, damage, crit rating, crit damage. Damage, crit rating, crit rating. Crit damage. Oh, look. Here's the one that I was using, okay? So I was using crit rating, crit damage, damage, and reload. Unfortunately, after reperking my traps a ton of times to make this video, because uh, I had to double-check my numbers to make sure they were right, correct? So I ended up, uh, my trap is sitting at double crit rate and double reload, which is literally the bottom. <laughs> this, is, this is my gas trap. Crit rating, crit rating, reload, reload. Awesome. It still kills stuff. Believe it or not, we did a 118 last night. Told you, re perk recombobulator. Doesn't matter what you put on him. You're going to slaughter everything, okay? But yeah, I have the worst per theoretical damage output, okay? But I have the most uptime. Um, so even though you're looking at these numbers, you have to keep in mind. You have to keep in mind, okay? We flipped this right now. We're looking at the average average theoretical number, okay? That's, that's factoring in your crit chance and your crit damage. So this does not mean... This does not mean go build a damage, crit rating, crit damage, crit damage. You have to remember. You have to remember your downtime. I value this hugely. Um, some people some people are going to want, they're not going to care about the three seconds of downtime. Um, I do. I do. I want my reload. So technically, technically, if I'm going to base my traps, my traps, traps, stats, traps, if I'm going to base my traps on a theoretical number, I'm going to go with the first one that has reload on it, okay? 0.6 right here, and that is what I originally had. Uh, where is the uh, the meta trap? The meta trap is down here. So quad damage is down in seventh per theoretical damage. That's just because it's got a 5% crit chance. Um, I've seen lots of things and lots of times where your 5% actually crits more. It's just like gambling. Even though it's a percentage, it's wonky how it works, okay? So um, the quads aren't bad. The uh, My trap isn't bad. Um, if you're going on theoretical, if you want, if you don't care about reload, then your damage crit rating, double crit damage is going to give you, in theory, your best, best damage, damage per tick, man. Um, and then everything that doesn't have any downtime, if you put double reload, they're just, they're all at the bottom. Why? Because you've wasted two damage potential perks on reloads. Really quick, I didn't do DPS because DPS gets, uh, it's a sensitive topic for some, some people. I don't know why. It's simple. It's damage per second, okay? But how you want to calculate your DPS and what you view as a, uh, a valuable measurement. Um, for me, 
DPS is damage per second when my item is active, when my gun is active, when my trap is active. I want to know how much damage per second that beast is pumping out while it's doing its job. Whether you're shooting, whether your gas is doing stuff, I want to know what the DPS is for when it's active. Some people want to argue that it's, that's, no, you have to factor in downtime for DPS. What? What? So that mentality comes from, for instance, like if you're in World of Warcraft and you're fighting on a target dummy or you've got a boss that is just standing there and you're just drilling into it and then it's a five hour long fight and you have to factor in all of your downtime and there's really nothing going on. But the fact that this game is too simple and husks are too spread out and they're sporadic um, and you're not doing any boss fights and usually if it's a gun or a trap, you're killing multiple things per trap. It's... Downtime is not relevant. It's not, in my opinion. Maybe it is to you, but that's why I'm not covering DPS, because it's, it's not. So if you're doing shelter missions, you've got sporadic couple husks walking and meandering around here and there. If you're doing a bomb, they're coming in like crazy. If you're doing an SSD, they're coming in crazy. Um, if you're doing, if you're doing, um, um, what is it, the, the, the balloon missions, retrieve the data, um, you've got them coming in from two sides for like a minute, and you've got them coming in from two more sides for like a minute. Um, so you have all this downtime. So we're, we're, what justifies the downtime in a calculation? When the mission starts? <laughs> no. When the encounter starts? No, that's still silly. It's, it, to me, it's when the trap is active. Um, but I didn't put that in there just because it's, it's, for the most part, you don't have the husks walking in hand by hand. Um, if, the, if the mission spawns 100 husks and they're all in a line holding hands, walking through your trap, and it's just a constant rush, I would definitely put DPS in because then it would be something you'd want to look at. But the fact that that's not the case, they're sporadic, things die, people are killing things outside your kill tunnels, um, they're not always coming through that kill tunnel, they're sporadically around the objective. It's a, it's a number that uh, I don't feel would be beneficial and you might be building your traps wrong based upon it. So... Um, if you want to do your DPS, it's damage per second. Here's your average damage. If you want to get your average damage, we know the gas traps go per second. You can figure it out. All right. That's it. Um, feel free to come back. Look at this. I don't know. I like the chalkboard idea. It took a lot of time and effort to redo it with the chalkboard. So maybe we'll, um, maybe we'll continue to do things like this. Maybe not. I don't know. I might not in the future go over the averages on how to calculate it. I might just do a video separate and we can just reference that. Or I might just reference this video, the part two, so people can come back and look at it if they want to argue on how you how you figure out your averages. So, um, a lot of talk about this. Obviously, this all spurred from my chat over on twitch.tv slash Gumby. I'm live pretty much every night from 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. Pacific Standard. That's West Coast United States. So if you want to swing by, hang out, poke fun, do we we goof off, we launch people off maps, we troll each other, we it's it's a good wholesome time. It's a good wholesome time. It's different than YouTube. I'll tell you that right now. Um, if you get offended easily, probably shouldn't stop by the channel. Probably shouldn't stop by the channel. But if you've got if you don't get offended easily and you're okay leaving your your basement to go out into society, um, feel free to swing by, man. It's a good time. It's a good time. Again, twitch.tv slash slightgumby. That's about it for the traps. Hopefully some of this helped. Uh, the visual thing helped a lot. I learned a lot in the visual thing. Um, this was cool to see. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm personally going to go back to my damage crit rating, crit damage, and reload. But um, not anytime soon. I wasted too much perk, re-perk on my traps. I don't care. So I'm rambling again. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.